What's going on guys, Matt Wasik here. Welcome back to the channel. Switching it up from the affiliate marketing content and getting back over to the digital marketing agency content for this video because I had something that I really wanted to show and share here on the channel. If you're brand new to the channel, my name is Matt Wasik. I am the owner of Landscape Marketing Pros, which is a digital marketing agency. And in addition to my agency, I also do affiliate marketing primarily with pay-per-call lead generation websites that I rank in the local search term. And the reason being is that it coincides very well with what my agency does for local businesses when it comes to building WordPress websites and ranking them in the local search results. Anyways, today I wanted to show you a site audit for one of my clients and I actually know these guys pretty well as you can see the website here on the screen. But basically I wanted to break down how to go about doing an audit and make basically making some recommendations. Obviously these guys are already signed on board to have their website redesigned and do SEO and all that type of good stuff. But when it comes to someone who is reaching out to your agency and wants either a proposal or just to talk with you, get to know your business, you want to look at their website right away and hopefully they have one. If they don't, they need one ASAP. But what you want to be able to do is basically give them some recommendations and that's what I want to do with this video is show you how you can look at someone's website or look at a company's website and assess what they need to do, what type of improvements need to be made. So without further ado, let's start this audit on this website. Right away we can tell, one, it's definitely not in WordPress. It's been built with Website Builder from GoDaddy and it looks like shit. And Austin and Brandon, if you're watching, they're the owners of this company. I'm sorry, but the website looks really bad. Austin, I know you spent a good amount of time building this, but it looks really bad. Oddly enough though, this website gets a lot of traffic, at least in terms of a landscaping business. It's not like it's Amazon, but when you have a customer that spends anywhere between $250, depending on the very, very low end, upwards of ten, twenty, fifty thousand dollars on a project. It does not take much traffic in order to make it really, really valuable. So oddly enough, also it drives a lot of leads. Imagine what we can do when the website's actually optimized for conversion and actually, and it looks good, it's built on WordPress so it can show up in the search results because right now it's not ranking for anything and that is going to change definitely in the future. But right away we can tell, obviously it's not built on WordPress. So that is the first thing that we're going to change. Next thing you can tell, there is no Facebook pixel. Another thing that needs to be changed, I'm not a big fan of doing Facebook ads when it comes to local businesses, at least when they're cold, but retargeting is a very, very powerful method that you can use to get people back to your website and not only increase your traffic, but increase the conversion rate and decrease the advertising cost when it comes to getting someone to your site and getting that person to either call you or email or submit information on the contact form. So the next thing that I noticed is that there is no dedicated services page, just this list here on an image and at least you can read it. I've seen some websites where this is like a green color with a green background with the lawn that's right there and that just is terrible. But the way things are in 2018 and beyond is that if you are not educating your prospective clients and they're reading through your content on your website, because if someone's brand new to home ownership or something, they might not have any idea what an irrigation system blowout is or irrigation system startup. You really have to be educating your website visitors on what it is that you do and why the services are beneficial to them. That's what it's all about. It's all about whoever can provide the most education and the most content and the most value without asking anything in return of the website. Once it's up, it is up forever. And after the initial foundation is laid, it does not take too much afterwards for something as simple as just text content that explains what a particular service is. And that is the first recommendation. Add a page or multiple pages with the different services and going into detail of what each one does and why it is beneficial to the prospective clients. Next thing, notice that there is a trust seal badge for their home advisor profile, which is a good thing because then people can go to their home advisor profile, see the reviews. I'm not gonna scroll through the entire profile, but the big thing to take note is that it's best to screenshot some of these reviews because obviously they're verified and take them as an image and put them on the website. So that way someone doesn't have to leave your site in order to see reviews. And that's what sells very, very well is people seeing that this company gets results for its clients. And obviously if they can get results for these people, they can get results for me as well. And that just, that goes across the board for every type of business out there, including my own agency, which is why we go above and beyond when it comes to over delivering on our services and making sure our clients are happy and get the most value out of the service that they are paying for. But this doesn't look too terrible. It does go into a little bit of trust building and listing out the benefits of the service. So I can't knock it too bad. It just looks really, really, really freaking bad. Also the multiple phone numbers, it's whatever. I mean, it's, it's easier for there to be just one phone number. And that's actually one thing that we'll be changing is just putting one phone number on there. And at least they have a link to mail right there from the website. So if someone's on their phone, they can tap it once and then the email application will open up on their phone. They can start typing if they wanted to do that right then and there. There is no push to call button I notice here. That is something that we need to change as well. 
And let's see if the link to the Facebook page goes anywhere. No, it does not. Okay, it goes right back to the website. There is a change that needs to be done also. You know, before we get into this gallery and just kind of the travesty that it is with, the, with how it's laid out, because their work that they do is absolutely amazing. I mean, this is new sod laid. This is not a lawn that's been mowed that looks like this. But before we get into that, why the site needs to have an About Us page? Because people are not, with social media and all the different platforms that are out there, people get to know people very, very, very quickly and they want to know who they're buying from. And I know I sound really, really cliche, but it is really, really true. So there definitely needs to be some information about the owners, which would be Austin and Brandon of this company, and a little bit of the backstory, how they got started, maybe even an introductory video, as well as including other accolades, such as awards that were won or anything of the like. Basically, just build trust and rapport with the people reading the website and that will increase the conversion rate, which again, if you're brand new to internet marketing, conversion rate is the amount of people that visit the site and turn into inquiries, whether it's a phone call, email, submitting on the contact form, whatever. So bottom line, you gotta have an about us page on the site. It is very, very important to be able to connect with the people viewing your site. It's gonna be a lot easier to sell to them. They can actually see people behind the brand. It's even a bonus if you have pictures of your team. Not every company out there is gonna have a staff of 50 people with multiple different managers that are actually in a more permanent position as opposed to just laborers that might be there for the summer. But a picture of the team will build trust and rapport because people can then see they have a dozen or more employees so they can get my job done efficiently and quickly. And those are the things that just build trust and rapport. It helps you stand out as well because there are a lot of companies out there that have the just most generic trash about us page and it just looks terrible. Oddly enough, it still gets conversions like just like this site. So anyways, going through the gallery here, which I personally believe you don't necessarily need to have a dedicated page for a gallery because usually when you have a ton of pictures, it slows up the load time of the website and that's just not needed. And that can be better done on Facebook or on Instagram where you can have a post of up to 10 images all in one thing. So you'll definitely want to connect your Instagram page, link to it, or even embed it onto the page, depending on the WordPress builder that is used. However, you definitely want to have imagery of the services on the individual service page. So if you have an irrigation system installation page, you'd want to have before, during, and after pictures. And the same goes with basically any other service. It's, again, just showing proof that you can do the work and your work quality is up to par. And so on the third and final page, and I can't believe three pages is all the site is, but hey, it, it gets the job done. That's really all that matters. And of course, we are revamping it. It's going to look a lot better in the near future. Uh, first, the picture here is not as good as it could be. It's taken against the sun. So, I mean, it adds a little bit of cool effect when the irrigation is running. I don't, I'm really, really picky when it comes to pictures. So that's, that's me. But the contact form, very simple. I mean, I like when questions are asked. Sometimes other people don't. It really comes to personal preference. But it helps with screening potential clients where, especially if you're someone who is very, very short on time, if you're a business that is doing maybe only $20,000 or more when it comes to your landscape installations or you won't take a client that's under $500 a month with maintenance, something of the like, you definitely want to have questions that will qualify your prospects so that way you know whether or not you should even be spending time talking with these. And I know that that sounds rather facetious or whatever the word would be for it, but your business owner, your time is your most valuable asset. If your business is set up to run at that level, you can't afford to spend time talking to people that have a budget of $100 a month or $1,000 for landscaping. So anyways, enough of a rant on that. That is about it on this, and that will be their office phone number and then uh, address whatnot. And also with this being what should be a link, which obviously it should be, you don't wanna to have to make the person type in Facebook and then go search, you wanna link straight to the page. But on an opt-in page, which is basically what this is, you want it to be very, very simple and plain and to the point so that way the person knows what they're doing on that side and they don't get distracted by something like, oh, there's a link to Facebook. Oh, I'm gonna to go to Facebook and then, oh shit, I'll see five notifications pop up. Oh, better reply to those comments, see that message, answer that friend request, and then, then they forget what they were doing on this website and they just close out and then boom, you lost a lead. So I don't necessarily like that. I do like the trust badge right here. However, I would maybe make that not a clickable link on this particular page just so that way if someone clicks it, they would end up going here and you could potentially lose them. Obviously, there are still ways to capture that lead here, but 
you'd want to keep them on your site as long as possible. Let that pixel be gathering some data. And so there we have it. That is a website audit for a local business. In particular, this one is the industry that I focus in with my agency, which is landscaping, irrigation, green industry type companies that do outdoor services on people's houses and on their business properties. So hopefully this will help you out with doing audits for your prospective clients and being able to see what a website really should look like. I want to know one last thing. There are very little calls to action here on their page or on their site. So that's something that we're going to be improving as well. At least three per page is what I like to have with the all being either linked to the contact page or push to call links. So that way it makes it very easy for a person scrolling on their phone to scroll through and then they can stop scrolling, boom, click the button to call, make the phone call right then and there. And it becomes very easy for them because again, we want it to be all about the path of least resistance for the consumer. So if you like this kind of content when it comes to building a digital marketing age, this is something that you can use as a very powerful sales tool because you can identify all kinds of problems where these types of businesses have people coming to their site. And these people that are going to their site are obviously interested in the services that they have. And if those people aren't calling them or aren't emailing them or whatever, that's money that they are losing and leaving on the table. So it's something that you can basically use as a pain point. And I'm not saying exploit it, but you can basically say, hey, you don't have any calls to action on your page. People are going to be reading through it and then they just stop and then they're going to leave their site or they'll be entering their contact information. Then they see a link to go to Facebook and then they go to Facebook and then boom, they're gone because they got distracted by whatever was in their newsfeed. So that's something you can use as a very, very powerful sales tool in order to entice someone to want to use your service of optimizing their site or rebuilding their website, doing SEO, all that type of stuff. Anyways, I will be taking you on the journey of building out a new site for this company and ranking it in the search engines and all that type of good stuff. So be sure to go down below and smash that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. So that way you know when the newest content comes live and you can stay up to date on this journey and apply it to your agency and put it to work. And hopefully you get some clients that are able to do the same thing as well and make money for your clients and of course make money for your agency. So my name is Matt Wasek. Thank you for checking out my channel. I will see you in the next one.